What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can track your ClickBank sales using ClickMagic using post back URL. So I showed you in previous video uh, a few months ago uh, how to use sales pixel, sales and engagement pixel, and you can do that. However, sometimes those pixels don't fire properly. Sometimes they may not show. A more reliable method is using a post back URL, which is what I showed you how to do on Max Bounty and Peterfly in my last two videos. That is pretty much always reliable because that's data that ClickBank will feed ClickMagic. So as soon as you make a sale, it will always show up in your ClickMagic account. All right. And it will say exactly how much the sale was for. So it will adjust for any types of refunds. It will adjust for any types of upsells. Uh, that's just data that um, ClickBank will feed ClickMagic. So it's a bit more effective than a sales pixel. All right. Um, now, I, I, sh I showed you how to do it in the previous videos on Peterfly and Max Bounty. A ClickBank, it's a bit more complicated. There are a few more steps we need to do. Uh, so, so let's dig in, all right? So here is my ClickBank link we've been working with for the past uh, few months now, all right? So this is what we'll be using. That's the URL for this offer. And then here is my secondary ClickBank account, all right? So what we're going to do is let's, as, as soon as you log into your ClickBank account, go into Settings go into my site uh, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now I do have the pixels here that we've set up before. Um, it's, it's recommended not to use pixels and this instant notification URL service. Um, I have used both on my main account and it worked fine for me. So, you know, if it for some reason doesn't work for you, make sure to cancel one or the other, either the pixel method or this instant notification uh, post back URL method, all right? So let's go into edit here. And now it's gonna ask us for a secret key, which they didn't ask us before in Peterfly or Max Bounty, which is why I said it's a bit more complicated. So what we can do is we can make up a key, all right? So it has to be 16 characters, uppercase letters and or numbers, okay? So what I will do for simplicity is I will do one, two, three, four, A, B, C, A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, okay? So so let's do that. Um, actually, before we do that, let's click on Request Access and, you know, make sure you, you review the instant notification release notes. Make sure you understand what all these things are. Uh, I mean, all of this is kind of like what I'm telling you right now about what a secret key is. That's basically what it is, right? Secret keys used to uh, share the information because this secret key will post in Click Magic, uh, stuff like that, you know, so, so, before you click yes, just make sure you understand everything and you actually understand everything they're telling you here, right? Um, so I already know all this. I've already used it before. I'm comfortable with this. I will click yes. Um, and let's click save changes and request API access. Okay, so now that's good. So now we need to scroll back down. Let's go to edit again. And now it should ask us for an instant notification URL. You can have two. Um, so copy this code. Okay. So I'm going to copy it. And what you would have to do then is you would have to go into my account and you would have to go into profile and on the right hand side is going to say miscellaneous. Okay. And over there, you need to input your secret key. So let's just do it really quickly right now. So here I'm in my miscellaneous tab. So you would need to put in your ClickBank secret key here. So I already have mine, which I use for my own ClickBank and, and, and all my other accounts here. But what you would need to do is you would need to put yours in here. Okay. So again, user profile and then go to uh, ClickBank secret key. Okay. And then just put that key that you put in here, just put that there. That is it. All right. That's all you have to do for that part. Now, the next step is we have two more things we have to do. Let's go into tools and go into post back builder again, just like we did before. Now, as you notice here, if I click click back, it's going to pop up a window, unlike the other two videos. So what you need to do is, is do that and then click on this. How do I set up ClickBank's instant notification? What they will give you is they will give you your own personal link here. Let me see. And, and, and here's, by the way, the steps. If you, if you prefer not to hear me talk and you just want to prefer doing it by yourself, click, click magic has that option, but here you would get your unique instant notification URL. So I, I can't give you your URL. It, it will be unique to you. So just I, I'm, I'm showing you where to go and copy paste this, copy that and then paste it here. Okay. And then what you would do is click save changes first before you click test type in. Okay. So click save changes and then go back here. It says unverified. 
Now click edit again, and then click test type in. Okay, now it says verify. And then just click save changes again. And now that is it for this part. Okay, so we need to do one more step. So this part is done. So let's just go back and take a look. Yep. So that's pretty much it, okay? Uh, you can put in another instant notification URL. You really don't need to, you only need one. Uh, so I'm just gonna cancel out of that. And let's see, yep, so that is it. So now we need to do one more thing, and that is put in that little uh, sub ID, special sub ID at the end, like we did in our previous videos, right? Because we needed to feed the information. Uh, so let's see where we'd find that. Um, so this one actually, let's see, integrating with affiliate networks. Nope, that's the video. So type in post back URL guide. Uh, let me open this in a new window, All right? Click on, just, just keep clicking away <laughs> uh, until you reach this page. And then over here, you'll see ClickBank, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that and put it back at the end here and click Save Changes. And that should be it, all right? That is it. So as you can see now, if I click Preview, nothing's going to change. It's going to work regardless. Uh, but now if I make a sale from this product, it will show up here under Sales without needing to use a pixel. So I don't even need to use uh, engagement and sales pixel as I did in the in the previous video a few months ago. I can just use this method, okay? It's much more consistent, much more reliable. Um, because ClickBank just feeds ClickMagic with this information. So that's about it. Um, I, ho I hope I was able to help you out uh, now to track your ClickBank sales. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools, how-tos, reviews, tips, tricks, etc., etc. Uh, and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.